I do want to mention that all the code is available on GitHub. I want to provide you with the link afterwards. Now, obviously, this is kind of a component I built for myself, but uh, feel free to modify it, change it, extend it. Um, all the code that I talk about today is there, and if you have any doubts of, you know, how did he do this, how did he do that, um, there's really no point for you to try to invest to invent this by yourself. So um, I share this code freely available, and uh, yeah, just go ahead and play with it. So what is the what are the secret Iron Chef ingredients that we're gonna use today? Well, um, obviously we need um, a hosting infrastructure, so. Why not use the Google App Engine? Um, it gives you 10 gigabytes of data transfer per application per day. This is really the only reason I use this and the fact that I can run Grails on it. Um, Grails is this really interesting web application framework. Um, it uses this dynamic language called Groovy. And um, as the guy who wrote Groovy said, Groovy is Java's best friend. So a lot of the things that you can do in Java, you can do in Groovy and better. And the last component we're going to use is uh, the cool Iris 3D World component. Now you've obviously seen the functionality of this, so um, let's just get started. Um, the little pieces that you need from Grails are um, the Grails App Engine plugin, and um, there's a nice little page about all the little bits and pieces that you need. Now. If you haven't played with Grails before and you need like a quick getting started guy, you can always go to the Spring Source website and um, the guy here, you know, this good looking fella here, um, he wrote, well, he wrote Grails, but he also wrote the App Engine plugin. So um, all the little pieces that you need are available in this page. And there's also a screencast that shows you all the steps that you really need to kind of set up your application, get it running, and deploy it on the Google App Engine in code. Now, what I have here is um, I have opened a terminal window, um, you know, your DOS prompt if you're using Windows, and I just have a little folder here on the side that I kind of like having in order for it to show me what I'm doing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to invoke uh, the create application command. What this is going to do is it's just going to create this directory for me and it's going to put a kind of all the Grails files that I need. So that is exactly my application here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this directory and I am going to call um, a set version. Now this is just because Grails uses a point system for versions and the App Engine uses numbers. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Google App Engine plugin. Now if you remember, um, all that is, is um, it's all the tools, all the little bits and pieces that you need in order to do, run the Google App Engine. So let me show you this. So Grails install plugin App Engine. And what that is going to do is, um, if you haven't downloaded it before, it's going to go to the server, it's going to install um, a version of this plugin. Now in here, it's going to ask you if you want to use JPA or JDO. These are two different types of um, ways of storing data on the server. Now, I've written a little bit about this in my other blog post. Um, for this demo, I'm going to choose JDO, but you can choose whatever you need. Uh, just read that other blog post and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create my domain class so create domain class I'm going to give it a package name and I'm going to name it book now obviously because I'm building a book editor um, the name of the package is book but I encourage you to experiment and build different things with it um, some things that I have in mind that you can do is um, you can use it, for example, for different portfolio projects. So in that case, you would say create domain class, um, come your name, portfolio, or you can use it to kind of store photo albums. You can do funny YouTube videos. The sky is the limit here. And the beauty of doing it this way is that you can use your own language. 
to kind of say, well, here's my CMS. So these are the exact um, parameters and here's the exact things that I need. So after I have created um, this book domain object, what you're going to see is um, under the Grails app directory under the package name, you're going to have this book file. Now, as you can see, um, it doesn't have a lot of things inside, but um, it has obviously a package name and it has created kind of everything that you need in order to deploy it to the app engine. Now, what I do in the real application is I just change that to read this. So I change the property parameter with kind of, now I have a title, an author, a description, a URL. And uh, one thing I do want to point out is there is this item here that I call description and uh, there's this attribute they can pass in called widget. Now all this stuff is in the Grails website, but um, what the widget does in here is it allows me to build, what it does is it automatically generates the screens for me. So by specifying the widget here, I can have my description as a bigger text field, which is exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. So now let's assume that I have gone in and I have edited my book component. Um, if you see, if, if you look at my views folder, for example, you'll see that I have nothing there. And in the controllers folder, there's nothing under my sleeve either. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to call grills generate all and I'm going to give it the package name. What this is going to do is it's just going to create all the little screens that it needs uh, in order for it to work. So now see that it's created a file under the controllers called the book controller and it's created a directory here called the book list. That's awesome. So now that's it. I, I build all my screens. If I call Grails app engine, which is the command that you need to run the Google app engine, um, I've done it for the real project here. But if you call that, that means that you can go to your local host to 8080 port. And if you go to the book controller, you have kind of all your screens that you need. I can click new book and create a book. I hit create. That's it. I'm done.